Alpha T Rex! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Oh, I don't care! Just kidding. Just a regular T Rex. Hee <laughs> hee! What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff for things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved, peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a giant ultimate destroyer in front of me. Yeah, I'm having a really good day. Today, we're going to do some really fun stuff and things. I'm excited to get stuff and things started. Thank you guys, by the way. I was checking on the last couple of videos. Thank you so much for all your likes and support. I really, really appreciate it. I want to say thank you guys. If you like this video, let's smash the thumbs up button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this one. Let's set that. I'm not going to set a thing. I'm not going to say like this many. Let's just see how many we can get. If you guys like the series and you like the stuff and things, show your support, peeps. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Today, we're going to do some mating of the stuff and things. I, <laughs> I have uh, spoken to XB and Drax, and uh, they said that I might mate. A couple of their dinos and i want another quetzal because we've got our battle quetzal we've got our weight quetzal but now i need a quetzal that i can put a platform on because i want a turret battle quetzal with turrets i want to do some turrety things i think it's going to be really fun so i did want to use pugly he's set up for weight there's really not like you know what i mean i don't know there's not much we can do with it, pugly Pugly is a little bit of a low level. He's like a starter Quetzal. We need a super Quetzal. And I think that the lady here is Aphrodite. I'm not really quite sure. I'm pretty sure. There's BSB over here that's only at level 87. I don't see any other Quetzals around here. So I think that this is XB's level. Um, I think it was 166 that it came out, that it burst out at. And it's a great color, too. I don't know if that's natural. That looks amazing. I don't, Obviously, I think it's plumage. His plumage has been changed. That's not natural plumage. But uh, over here, I don't think... Oh, he's got red claws. He's got a little... She's got a little fingernail painting on. She's so into her appearance. That's so cute. All right, but this is the one I do believe. We're going to fly this over to Drax's new base. He's got the perfect tame dude. We're going to see if they're hot to trot. And maybe she'll score an egg up or buckloica. And then we can have a new little baby Quetzal. BRBs, peeps! And we're back. There's Drax over there doing stuff and things. Here we are at Drax's new base. And this is Dr. Hugh. The 225 level Super Quetzal. This thing is really, really cool. Perfect tame. 11,000 HPs. What? Ultimate Destroyer's got 15,000. But I don't know. Other, his other stats are really, really good. 1,000 melee damage on him. 211% movement speed. Really, really crazy. All right. Let's go ahead and let's... No, we don't want to ride. I want to enable wandering. And enable wandering. And then we are going to... Oh, wait. It's happening. No, no, no. Stay perfectly still. The U button. The U button is what we want. This will allow us... Don't tell the devs to get these guys to mate without having to put them into a box. Don't look. It's disgusting. Stop watching them. Oh, I can't stop watching. All right. BRBs. She squirted out a butt egg! Oh, baby, it's a thing! Disable wandering. Disable wandering. All right, we did it, ladies and gentle peeps. Their wandering has been disabled, and Aphrodite... I know it's Aphrodite, but it's more fun if you say Aphrodite. Aphrodite! Oh, uh, actually, what could this guy's name be that would be really funny? Aphrodite. Aphrodite! We got the baby egg! Right here it is. Hello, little fertilized Quetzal egg. Thank you very much, Hugh, for all your service to our cause. We got to bring Aphrodite over uh, to XB's place, and then we'll get Ultimate Destroyer. And we'll head back home and incubate this. And we're back at base. Coming in for a landing. It's pretty much nailed it ish. A little sideways, but no one will see. Hopefully. Let's head down over here to the incubation station. What level are you, home dog? Are you worth taking? Or are the 28? All right. So, what, what? wait, where are we? Here we go. Let's go over here. How much gasoline we got in this bad boy? Oh, plenty. Go ahead and squirt that in an on position type place. Nail the days that can't be stopped. The incubation process has begun. 
we are going to let it do its thing. Now, while the incubation is happening, there is something that we have to do. Something that we have to begin. I'm really excited to tell you that we are going to start a project that is going to be so amazing that I have to pump it up a lot because it's just going to be a lot of crafting. But this is going to be called the great gunpowdering of today. That's right, ladies and gentle peeps, the great gunpowdering of today. Today, we are going to make a huge, 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 huge amount of gunpowder. We need, did you see that? No scope. You got no scoped. You just got no scope by the slip gator. We need a huge, huge, huge amount of gunpowder because I want to fill those turrets up there with bullets. So if you remember in the previous episode, we went ahead and started making up a bunch of charcoal. So if we fly over here to hardware, I think we've got, what is it? Uh, 24, 48 stacks of uh, charcoal inside of him. So we're good to go. And actually we've got to drop off some of this garbo. And I found an extra spyglass um, in a drop somewhere along the way. All right, so how much do these, one of these weigh, 25? We should be able to carry a little bit of it. We probably should get a weight bird. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, we can't carry that much of it. Can we stick it back in there, please? Oh, no, we can't stick it back in there. All right. You're going to have to help me out, buddy. Now, will you, can you ride? Are you rideable? No, it's fine. You just have to be a thing. So, come here, ouncy. Ouncy, ouncy, let's go. So, we're going to get all the gunpowder moved. Uh, uh, into some of the mortar and pestles. And um, then we are going to start to make the spark powder as well. There's going to be so much gunpowder, I can't wait. And we're back, and the most amazing thing has happened. Under the cover of a kind of sunset that was a little bit beautiful, I have found this male 104th level Gigantotecopithecus. Get him! Ultimate Destroyer, do you have him in your clutches? He has been clutched. We have clutched the Gigantopithecus. And now we mean to drop him into this pen. This may be a huge disaster, but I feel like I'm very confident that it will not be. Oh, he's on the roof! He's a roof guy! What are you doing up there, roof guy? Why are you being a roof guy? That's not good. You don't want to be a roof guy. You fall. Oh, you don't take any fall damage? Whatever. Now you're just being like show off. All right. Here we go. 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 We got to get it real good. We got to get it a real good. One little. No, no, no. Zerp. No, why are you not in the pen? Become in the pen. All right, we're going to get him in the pen. It's going to be the best. Here we go. I am very excited right now about the prospect of having you in a pen. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he's... Wait, what? Is he, is he in our clutches or is he not in our clutches? Now he's peeved off at us, but we have him in our clutches. Maybe we should just do a flyby and a little guesstimation work. Get in the pen. This this is terrible. He's in the pen. We've got the super giganto in the pen. All right, he's in the pen. This is going to be really difficult to tame him in there, but we'll probably end up pulling him out. Let's just close that door right there. Can you see through there? Oh, he's peeved a little bit, I feel like. Perhaps. Can we see you? What's up, big guy? 104, huh? All right, so we had to take a little bit of a break from the great gunpowdering of today um, in order to get this Giganto. And I wanted to show you that we were getting him. And the next thing I want to see is the Titan Boa Egg Sitch and see what that Sitch is like. It is a five Titan Boa Egg Sitch. So we may have to try to go and look around for some more Titan Boa Eggs because um, I'd like to try to pump a bunch in there. We might just take a run down to the Chitin Cave and see what's going on. All right, so that's just a little bit of a distraction from what was going on during the great uh, gunpowdering of today. But um, what we are doing right now, in case you were just wondering, is I had noticed that we were a little bit low on the flints. I want to have a lot of the flints. We need a lot of the spark powders, so I've gone out to get a bunch more of the flints. And just was on uh, a run out there to do that when I saw that super giganto. I'm super excited about getting him tamed up. 
But all right, that we will have to wait for. Oh crap! We gotta check the egg. We gotta check the egg. Oh, I wonder if the egg is done. I got so distracted. I got so distracted. Oh no 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 no! Oh oh, it's not done. How close are you? Not even a little bit close. Okay. So, we've got plenty of time. All right. So, the egg is doing the egg thing. The giganto is doing the giganto thing. I am doing the uh, flint thing. And you guys are doing the smile thing, I think. Hopefully. All right. Uh, BRBs, peeps. And we're back, and the long incubation process is about to end. The new Quetzi baby is going to be a thing. It's a baby. 179. What's up, little baby? Imprint. Little man. He just a little. Is it a man? I don't even know. We can't call him little man if it's not a man. It's a little man. We'll call him little man. For now, we're going to think of a better name for him for sure. Come here, man. Is it wandering on? Disable wandering. No idea why that happens. All right. Come out here, little man. Let's show all the people how little manly you are. He's so cute like a little duck. He's so cute like a little duck. What's up, little duck? So what we're going to have you do is we're going to have Hotspot and Bluetooth watch you. No, let's go ahead and get back on there. Let's go ahead and go like this. Let's go ahead and check the stats here and go ahead and up melee damage a couple of times. All right. So we got to get you fed. Would you like some delicious food? I just happen to have some right here. We'll get some on you right there. Now, these this is going to take like a whole day or probably somewhere in the neighborhood of like 12 hours to mature. So tomorrow we will start to do our building of our platform stuff and things. So that's exciting. But for today, I do believe that we're just going to have this guy sit right here um, and do its growing. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on it while stuff and things are going on. I have a trough here full of meats. So we're good to go there. So we're just going to sit here for a little bit. Make sure it's got enough foods. And uh, while we're doing that, we will get ready uh, with some more flint. And we're back. Stuff and things are happening, peeps. We are going to be taking the elevator with William Shatner to the top floor of the base. Past the epic minigun turret thingy doodler. Rising and rising and rising. It's amazing. Climb up here. Don't fall down. Why are you so fat? No way. Why do you hate me? I never knew this. Why do you hate me, Ark? You can't fit a mammoth, which obviously could easily fit between there. Look at that. There's space. What are you trying to say about Wooly? You can't fit him through here. I can't believe it. Well, it's not that important. It's not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nah. Climb up your butt. All right. Nah, nah, nah. We got to make a wide, a very tight turn. Pardon me why there's still elephants oh what why is happening okay there we go all right so the point of this is that up here now we have all sorts of stuff and things we've got a bunch of mortar and pestles we're getting ready to do the spark powder portion of the great stuff and things of 2015 no the great gunpowder of today two three four we've got to get these all filled up we got one there okay so i brought up the rest of the of the stone that we need here like so. And then we will do this like a so. I think this means once this is done, this will be every mortar and pestle that we have, which is a total of 4A12. All right. Now we have the four more. And you would enjoy being in this mortar and pestle. Thank you so much. And yeah, You would enjoy being in this mortar and pestle. Right here. Now. These are full, I do believe, already. Okay, here we go. Oh, baby, it's happening. Oh, the lags. It causes all the lags. So that's 400, 800. It's going to be 1,600 spark powder per. Oh, I'm kind of excited. This is a lot. And I'll tell you what, guys. It's really funny. I was thinking about this before. Let's do this stuff. I'm going to break the fourth wall for you and tell you a little bit what, about what goes on in my mind. I was like, is this going to be cool? Like, is this even a thing? And I got to tell you guys, you know, it is cool to me. It, it is a thing because this is a lot of materials. Like, this takes a long time to gather all this up. So I'm really kind of excited about the fact that we're getting this done in this way. Okay. Now, in here, you will see I have all of the charcoal that I've made. And a bunch of extra spark powder that just happened to have already been created somehow. So, and the game's just going to lock up for us now. Perfect! 
And now down here, we have these already ready to go as well. And we're going to make all of these into spark powder. Oh, baby. We're going to have all the spark powder. Now, how much spark powder are we going to make, do you ask? Well, that would involve us doing maths. Now, this is something that I have been doing off and on since I was a younger person. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 1600. 16 times 2 is 32. Uh, plus 16 is 42. Plus 4,800. 4,800 spark powder. Is that right? Yes. 4,800 spark powder is the amount of spark powder that is currently being made in the process of the great gunpowder of today. And now we're just going to, uh, now we're just going to wait for it. This is a big problem. This is a big solution. And you know what? I was wrong about the amount of spark powder that we're making. Each one of these isn't making 400. Each one of these is making 800. So that's 8 times 4812, which is what? 9600? I think I did that math right. 9600 total spark powder created, which is a crazy, crazy, crazy amount. Now, the question is, when you've got 9600 spark powder, do you have 9600 charcoal? Because... We needed two flint for every one stone in order to make the spark powder, but we need one charcoal for every one spark powder to make the gunpowder. So we have 5,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 500, 5,600. So we can only make 5,600 uh, gunpowders. So that's pretty crazy. So inside of these, we'd actually have to take out like these two, like so, out of each one. And that way they'll be... No, that, that, that was wrong. We're incorrect. Then uh, we get to load up the rest of these with charcoal. And we're back! And I have a new special slipcatery quote. Oh, joy there is in the over-preparedness of things. I love to over-prepare. And I thought I had not made enough charcoal, but I had over-prepared some. And now we have a super plentiful amount of the stuff and things that we need to make all the gunpowders. Look, now we can make three, four, five. Oh, 600 gunpowders. Oh, baby. Now each time, is it making two? Oh, give me all the gunpowders. Oh, give me all the lags. So we have 6, 12, 18, 36, 46, 5,400? I think of the gunpowder's coming. It makes one at a time. It makes one at a time. But 5,400 of the gunpowder's coming if we have all of these mortar and pestles and then all of these mortar and pestles as well. But guess what? No, there's more. No, wait. If you act now, you'll actually have been over-prepared to the point of which there's a lot more spark powder that you already made and just a little tiny bit more charcoal that you have in here and that you have in here. So you'll be able to make even more. Oh, we are going to make so many bullets today. It is going to be glorious. After today, we won't have to make any more gunpowder for like maybe like one whole day, depending on how many bullets we're going to make. I don't even know. This process is so intense. I like to do it big. That's the Slip Gator quote. All right. After we get some gunpowder going, we will be our bees peeps. And we're back. And I'm really, really, really excited. So I went out yesterday. We're, we're at the point to make the bullets. So I went out yesterday for like an hour and I got all that wood and I filled up all of those refining forges all the way down there and I filled those all up with wood. There's, um, what, eight of them down there and then I fit, filled eight, four more up here. So that's 12 refining forges completely full of wood. Each one holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times 12 is 96. 96 stacks of wood and then I let that all burn and it took like a whole day for that to all burn. And then I turned all of that charcoal and then I took and I made all of the spark powder that you saw today. And it took like two and a half hours probably of gathering all the stuff and things and then and doing it real, super efficiently. And I got all that and then I took all the charcoal and then I mixed it with all that. And I got all this gunpowder. Look at all the gunpowder that we have now. I've got this gunpowder in here and then inside of here, I've got 6,300 more gunpowder. And then I've got 700 metal ingots right here. And now it's the moment of truth. All that time, hours and hours and hours. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And then we're going to go ahead and make... Oh! The game can't even handle it. Wait. We're going to make how many? 1,400? So we're going to make 1,400 bullets. Okay, that sounds like a lot of bullets. Now, what I wanted to do was to see 
if we could fill up one of these turrets. So I'm pretty excited. 1,400 bullets. That's a ton of bullets. That should totally be able to fill up one of these turrets, right? So we wouldn't have to worry about it for a really long time. How many bullets to fit in these turrets? So it's 50 in a stack. And we've got... What would that be? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 500, 1,000, 1,200. 1,200? So we're going to be able to fill up maybe like one of the two turrets. So that's not awful. But I will say, the great gunpowdering, which is actually now the great bulleting of today, is quite a bit of a fiasco. Now, I'm not really sure what the difference is in the damage between the auto turret and the um, plant species X turret. Well, the plant species X turret, you plant it, you wait, and then you put fertilizer in there, and it has unlimited bullets forever. Um, and with this, you gather stuff and things for hours and hours and hours and hours uh, in order to make the bullets. And I hope that I never have to make any of the bullets again, because this is a long, 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 long process. So... Thank goodness we did it, because it was really fun. I feel like in any game, you've got to take the time to do the things, even if they are tough, at least one time to see how they're all going to work out. So I'm really glad that we did it, but also really glad we have to name this guy. And I'm going to figure out a name here before I come back for the next cut. But um, we've got Little Man now. Now, Little Man is kicking it. Just over here with his 167 weight. He's not at 358, which will be 10% of his food. Which will then, or be, wait, no, no, no. What's his weight? 1,300. Oh, he's eating from the trough. No, no, he is. So once he was at 1,300 or uh, 132 weight, he started to eat from the trough. So we're good to go. We can actually squirt all this back into the trough. He's trough feeding himself now. So that is very, very good to know. How much is in there? Oh, he's eating through a bunch. He's eating through a big bunch of it. Um, but what we're going to do next, I think, and for the rest of the base, besides those two turrets... I do believe because of the unbelievable cost of bullets, um, it really is kind of a ridiculous amount. Uh, we're going to be going with plant species X turrets in the future. And I'm excited because we're going to put a few of them all in and around the area. Do you remember yesterday? Or wait, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. We went ahead and we got all those seeds. So we're going to have tons and tons and tons of those ready to go. So we got the bullets. They're getting created. What other stuff and things are happening? Well, well... We've also got to see what kind. Do we have large crop plot blueprints? Such a tongue twister. Large. We do have a large crop plot blueprint. So we're going to be good to go with that as far as needing those for the plant species X turrets. We're not going to be able to build on the platform saddle until the little man grows up to be a little bit bigger. Um, I also have been gathering up eggs as the day has been progressing. Best way to gather eggs? Get your gun out. Threaten the eggs with your gun. And they just squirt right into your inventory. Actually, it just helps you to aim so you can see where it is that you're going. I know some guys that play on the regular servers don't have the crosshairs. We have that server setting turned on, so we have crosshairs. But the Kairuku egg situation is getting really, really good. We've actually broken over 100 Kairuku eggs. So we have a huge amount. With this little... I mean, look at this. This is crazy. No, we don't have to do that. This one we have to duck down in order to get these. But you can see you can like figure out how to grab those way over inside of there. All right, so the Kairuko egg situation is doing really, really good. We have like 100 bazillion million of them now, or possibly like 125 or something like that. Um, I have been checking on these Pteranodon eggs. Oh, baby, no Pteranodon eggs, man. This is going to be for our perfect turtle team that we're going to do. So we need a, a, a bunch of these. I think about probably around 20. And then the Stegos have been a little bit less fertile. Oh, baby, we got two Stego eggs now, though. Awesome. Three. Three. Holy crap -o. These guys are killing it. Let me get in here. Four. Oh, baby. Give me all your eggs, man. Oh, nice. It's so good to do work around the base. You know, a lot of times we're out traveling, doing stuff and things, and it just makes it. It's not conducive to getting eggs. We want eggs. And so the conducive of egg gathering is for when you're at your base. There we go. 121 of those. We got 62 Sego eggs now. How are the Pteranodon eggs? We've got 13. So we're on our way to better stuff and things. Let's fly over here real quick and see how our bullets are doing. We should be getting some XP from this too, I think. Let's take a look at that as well. So it looks like we get 1.5. So that's not bad. So we're going to get 7, 350,000 ish experience points for making all of these. Um, and once these guys are done, we actually do have a little bit more gunpowder in here. One, two, three. 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's good. That's basically another hundred. So two, three, four, five. We can just take it all. Uh, and then we can grab a hundred more metal out of this bad boy right uh, here. Uh, and uh, that's actually what? 200 more bullets. We'll squirt all these inside of here. Should have room. Oh, yeah, baby. Now that ace the can't be stopped. Ammo. Bam. 200 more. Oh, yeah. So we did. We did get a lot of the stuff. Things. We got a lot of bullets. We It's definitely going to be a lot enough that we don't have to refill those for a long, long time. And um, that was cool, man. That was really fun. I like doing... I don't know. I'm a nerd like that. I like just getting stuff done around the base. And we're back. And I've got all of our bullets. Look how many bullets we've got. It's a huge amount. We do have a lot, a lot of bullets. So can we fill one of the turrets up at the very least completely with bullets now? Do we have enough to do this? We do. We've done it. We filled up one. And then we have to take some out because we have to make them even-ish. I want to make them even-ish. But this way, you know, I was coming up here every once in a while and just like making some bullets and then going back. And then, oh, wait, we need to take out like three more stacks out of this one. Actually, two more stacks. I think this one's the more active one. So we'll take like two stacks out of that one and we'll squirt them over in this one. But I would come up here every once in a while and I would see that there were some bullets missing and then like it was re getting really close and they're, so they're kind of even now. But um, but yeah, we got them. They're full. They're full-ish. We'll call it full-ish. So the great spark powder gunpowder thing you do to love today is complete, peeps. Now for tomorrow, we're going to wait. Wait for our baby Quetzal, the little man, to grow up big and strong and become a full-grown adult Quetz, and we're going to make him into something very special. Now, the maturation process takes a long time. we still got a long, long time to go, but what are you? Oh, Hotspot's eyeballing me. I'm not a snack. I'm a friend, not food. So um, it's going to be cool. I can't wait to do the stuff and things tomorrow, and I have a, a name for the Quetz, but I'm not going to tell you until we're done with what we're going to do tomorrow. So, but for today, that's going to be it for today, peeps. I hope you guys had fun hanging out. I know I did. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Good job. Good job, Bluetooth. And may the stuff and things be with you.